What's going on guys, it's Ness bringing you guys a new video. I wanted to bring you guys a video that's a little bit different from my typical videos, so I'm going to make a video talking about animation canceling. As you can see in this video, the title, we're talking about dodge rolling. So for a while now there have been people that have been talking about stamina has the ability to spam roll and things like that, and there were a few comments on my last video that I talked about scale breaker, and I really want to address those and just talk about dodge rolling, because a lot of people really do feel it's overpowered and you just avoid all damage and you can spam it and you can do this and that. So just to get into it, first and foremost, it's obviously not unlimited. You cannot infinitely roll. Can you roll a lot? Yes, but it takes a lot to do so. If you look at my stat sheet here, I have 2.8k almost stam regen unbuffed. If you want to see how many times I can roll in a row, only rolling, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can barely do eight rolls. Okay, people are already going to say, oh my god, that's so much, it's so overpowered. That's me not casting a single other ability and rolling eight times in a row. Nobody ever is going to be able to get eight rolls in a row off. And if you do get eight rolls in a row off, you have no stamina left to do anything else. So you're kind of screwed. Also... The typical builds aren't going to be able to do this. I'm This build is built to do this. That's why I got on this character for this video. Because it's actually not possible to do any more rolls than that. I mean, maybe if you just go on a pure regen build, of course, and you do something obnoxious just to prove me wrong on technicality. But the point being, like, this is the most atypical roleplay build you'll find in Cyrodiil. The person that's going to be rolling the most. And even I can't infinitely roll. Now, getting into the next topic is people say you can roll everything. Now, I'm not going to go through every single ability in the game, but pretty much 80% of abilities in ESO, you can't roll. Whether it's intended to, or it's not intended to, or it's lag, a good 80% of abilities go through roll. I could probably count the amount of abilities that you actually can dodge roll on... My, my hands like I honestly could not think of more than 10 abilities that you can roll in this game period because everything goes to roll I'm not gonna go down and list every single ability but like in cap doesn't care about roll it should but it doesn't surprise attack doesn't those are two single target abilities bow it either misses terribly or it goes right through your roll doesn't care tether doesn't care about roll veil doesn't care about roll that's the thing too most ultimates don't care about rolling, so you can pretty much chalk all those up as, like, you can't dodge them. We have Sap and Power Extraction, both Morris. You want to go through? We have every single AoE. So, Cleave, Lacerate, Dots, by the way. So, the Cleave Dot. The Rending Slashes. We have NATO. We have Blade Cloak. Those don't care about it. Snipe lags and doesn't care about roll. Ballista doesn't care about roll, Volley, Poison Inject, Arrow Spray, Destro, Wall of Elements, Impulse, Werewolf Stuff, Dots, Dawnbreaker, Dot, and Instant Hit, and it goes through roll. We have Trap Beast, Dot goes through roll, of course. Meteor, Entropy, another Dot. Like, as you can see, there's so much stuff that does not care about roll. Proxy that Caltrops doesn't care about roll, like... And if you want to go on other classes, we have the DK dots, both of them. We have all the DK ultimates. We have Warden, their ultimate, and Sub Assault, and Deep Fisher. Like, also, the Fetcher Infection, literally the highest tool tipping dot in the game. Like, I could rant for 30 minutes of abilities that do not care about roll. There's only, like, Ransack, Low Slash, Crystal Frag, like... There's plenty of abilities that annoy people, and people are like, oh my god, this guy's roll spamming. Like, roll spamming is an annoying thing, but how people claim rolling is overpowered or anything like that, it's completely not true whatsoever. And all it takes is one day of playing ESO for a good amount of time to realize that. If you go into Cyrodiil, and you play without lag, with lag, anything, you're going to get hit through roll all day long. All day long, by everything. Every stand build uses Dawnbreaker. Everybody has an AoE on their bar. Like, 
when you start rolling, people just start spamming AoEs. It didn't used to be like that, and it's not even like people just became smarter and learned how to counter it. It's just people don't use single target abilities. People don't run around dizzy swinging everybody to death, unless they're 1BXing. The majority of people that are in Cyrodiil are in groups or Zerging or whatever. They're, they're not focused on singling people down. They're focused on AoEing people down. So your whole counter of the roll being the most overpowered form of damage reduction and damage avoidance and inherently making stamina builds tanky is it's not really true whatsoever and i hope this cleared this up i'm trying to keep this short obviously i haven't talked for too long the big thing is of course i could rant for like 30 minutes about abilities that just don't care about roll and go through it and the couple abilities that do but even still, like, the big factor, of course, is lag. When it comes to Cyrodiil, when it comes to PvE, even even if you roll in PvE, you still get hit through roll. Like, it's just the way it is. Let alone in Cyrodiil, where you have 80 people on screen, and your abilities don't go off for 5 seconds. I mean, you're gonna try and roll, and it might go off on your screen even, but you're not dodging anything, period. Like... Everybody knows, everybody's been in those fights where it starts lagging and you roll and nothing happens. You just get, you get dizzy swinged for like 200 through it and die. Like, that's just the way it so is currently. Like, dodge rolling is not a good form of damage reduction or anything like that. And it will stay to be like that. Dodge rolling, for the most part, is a good thing to avoid a couple attacks. It's a good way to cut down on the total attacks you're being hit with. If you're being hit by a lot of attacks, you can dodge roll and hopefully use it to get away. The big thing, obviously, is dodge rolling with a bow. You get major expedition. That's the big thing with bow and rolling is that specific combo. Anywhere else, it's not really that good. If you dodge roll in heavy, it's not that crazy. If you dodge roll in any build that doesn't have a lot of regen that allows the build to do it, like... It's just not going to work out. I mean, I'm in 7 medium. I have almost 3k regen unbuffed. If we go into my CP, I have a ton into tumbling. I have 81 into tumbling. I have probably like 40 some percent roll reduced cost. And I don't even have well fitted. The big thing is roll probably should cost more, honestly. Because the big thing is, is... A lot of people that don't know how the game works or how to counter abilities or anything like that, their instant reaction is to roll. Everybody's met those people and everybody knows. Even players that haven't been playing for very long, they know the players that just, they start freaking out and all they start doing is just spamming roll. And they don't even move. Like, they literally look like this when they're playing. They're just rolling into walls and holding block and jumping up and down and not moving besides it. Like, those people that they start having a panic attack and just start rolling everywhere. Those are the people that should get nerfed. But of course, if you nerf those people, it's going to nerf everybody else. The thing is, if you do want to nerf it or change role in that way, honestly, it's not going to affect any player that knows how to play the game or has been playing the game for a very long time. So it's the whole thing of if if they want to nerf role, like people are, some people have even said they should nerf role, I honestly think they should just make it cost a little bit more each time. Like, they have it right now where it costs more each time you roll. If anything, honestly, personally, I think they could up that a little bit just to prevent from the people that don't know how the game works spamming roll as much as they do because they should die. But, again, the main point of this video was me saying that rolling isn't overperforming. It's not any type of crazy. The only thing that could be changed is the amount of times people that do not know how to play the game, that's specific on it, rolling so many times in a row. Like, when you get in a fight and Billy Bob with 200 CP is over there rolling four or five times in a row because he's not using stamina on anything else, he's just light attack spamming you, that's dumb. You know what I mean? But typically, roll, it's not that crazy. You get... Killed through roll all day long. Roll isn't overpowered. It's not crazy. It doesn't put stamina ahead of anybody. 
And the big thing is too is yeah, you roll, but once you come back out of roll, you're instantly taking more damage. Like, I mean, roll is damage avoidance, sure, but you still have to heal yourself. You still have to do all this other stuff. So, rolling doesn't put stamina ahead of Magicka, like people say, by any means. And also, Magicka builds can roll too. Like, I can't roll eight times in a row on my Magic DK, but I could probably roll three, four times in a row... And just pop a tripod and be chilling. So, and I mean, that's not a Magicka character with like 16k max stam and no investment in rolling. So, the whole debate about dodge rolling, I don't know. Hopefully this video helped you guys somewhat. I'm going to wrap it up here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm out.